I have a few miles on my uh, newly rebuilt uh, 350. It's 30 overs and makes it a 355. Uh, I did not capture myself putting on the intake manifold, the distributor, adjusting the valve slash rocker arms. And so maybe I can go back and give people an idea of how I've done some of those things. Obviously this car is still a work in progress. There's other things I need to fix. My wiring, my uh, my fuel uh, delivery system. Uh, it's, you know, it's made just so it can work, so I can drive it, enjoy the car. But I do from uh, eventually uh, over time, I want to make things either factory or improve upon the factory with aftermarket upgrades. So I do want to show people what uh, some of the things that I do either to make something stock or improve upon stock. So before I can uh, show you the procedure that I'll adjust valves, uh, I want to show you one of the ways I do adjust the valves. There's another way that I learned first but I'll show you the way that it's in the Chilton's manual, probably also in the GM manual. Um, a lot of mechanics might use this if they're rebuilding something and putting it back to stock. It does work. Uh, when I had the intake manifold off, uh, the whole point is that you want to adjust the valves when, when, the, when the camshaft uh, is on the base circle when the valve or the rocker arm is on the base circle um, that's when you adjust the valves and so this procedure works for about half of the valves uh, at top to TDC compression for number one and then you turn the the engine over 360 degrees on the crank or the harmonic balancer and it brings it up to TDC on number six and so the other valves that you didn't adjust can now be adjusted because now the cam will be on the base circle for those valves that you adjust. So I can't show you that part with the intake manifold on, but it does work. Uh, I don't have a, a radical cam, uh, so that's why it works. If you had a radical cam, I would assume it probably wouldn't. I mean over 500 lift. If you have under 500 lift, you can do it this way. You can do it one other way that maybe in a future video I'll show you. But let me show you, uh, let me show you what that looks like on paper. So I've, I bolted, um, the procedure it shows TDC at zero, firing at number one. So number one, if you look, you'll see you can adjust the intake uh, for number one, two, five, and seven. And you can exhaust, uh, adjust the exhaust on numbers one, three, four, and eight. And that's correct, right? Because number one, you can adjust the intake and exhaust when you have it at TDC compression for number one. And right below, down here, you'll see once you turn the engine over and you bring it up to TDC for number six, compression TDC, then you can adjust number six and you'll see it's six intake, six exhaust. And this is the procedure I've been using lately to adjust the valves. Uh, you might have others say, no, you shouldn't do it that way, you can't do it that way. If you have a radical cam, it won't work. That's probably true, but I don't have a radical cam. Exhaust is 490 lift, intake is 470 lift. It is a roller cam, so it, it works. And you can verify if you have the intake manifold off. If you don't have it off, then yeah, you might have to trust. And if you don't trust, then you can always do it a different way. And I'll, I'll try to show that method in another video. But there you go. Um, when you have... Uh, have it on uh, TDC for number one, the top, and TDC for number six, the bottom. Okay, so there you go, and that's the procedure I'm going to follow. So maybe everybody can see that. I um, want to give everybody an idea of how I find uh, TDC compression on number one. I'm just a little bit past top dead center uh, on exhaust. So now uh, I do have a breaker bar. Do have a 5.8 socket on the pulley 
uh, the crankshaft pulley, I believe that's what it's called, I don't know. Anyway, and so that's how I turn the engine, it's a 10 to 1 motor. I'm going to focus now on the intake valve opening and then closing and then I'll find TDC on zero and that is how I know I have TDC compression on number one with the intake valve opening and closing and uh, TDC at zero on the timing mark. Here we go. So you should have seen the intake valve open and then close. Uh, I'm going to show you the harmonic, the harmonic balancer at zero on the timing mark. It's actually around two degrees on mine since it is an aftermarket camshaft. Let me just pick up the camera and show you. There you go, that's TDC at uh, uh, number one, compression stroke. And now I'll adjust uh, cylinder number one, and just to give you an idea. All right, here we go. So I have this, I got it from Home Depot, the 316th for the 3 8 drive. So I have some lash there. That's what I want us to focus on. Let me get this one out of the way so everybody can see. I have lash here. 
And so I want to get rid of this black. Still have some. I have no lash on uh, intakes for cylinder number one. Now I want to turn it anywhere from half a half a revolution to three quarters. I'll go, I'll go about a little past half, and then I will tighten the poly lock. Hopefully you heard that. So you'll see me uh, adjust. Rocker arm on cylinder number one right now. Check it out. to adjust or tighten down the poly lock and I'll use a wrench There you go. That's the procedure. Uh, when you want to tighten down and lock down the poly locks, uh, use a wrench to hold the uh, to hold it so you don't get any more movement. So a little bit past half, and that'll give me some good uh, some good performance. You can go anywhere from half a turn to a, a full turn. So now I'll adjust the exhaust valve. Half a turn, and a little bit past it. So, did number one. Now I can adjust two five seven on the intake, three four eight on the exhaust. You can do number one, and then there would be number three cylinder number three exhaust is this one. You go up, but number three is down. Yes, this is the intake, and you see that. Number three exhaust is up, and so I could adjust this one. I could adjust the other side and passenger side. 
and then I would turn it over and then start over here. So I won't do that. You get, you should get the idea. Just as long as you know uh, which are the intakes, which are the exhausts. So I've adjusted the valves, or at least I went through the procedure to adjust the valves. Um, I did cylinder number one. I actually checked all my uh, valves and buttoned it up, put the fan on, put the valve covers on. I'll turn it on so everybody can see. And there you go, and you'll hear it. It's kind of not fully warm yet, so to have a nice lope to it. Hopefully you can hear it from the front, obviously, but here we go. I'll turn it on, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll continue to produce more videos that will you know, give you an idea of how to work on your Chevy or maybe even Ford if some of this applies. All right, thank you.